All right, Twan. Twan, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Uh, I grew up on the west side of Chicago. I grew up at Garfield Park. Uh, Tell me about your family. Uh, well, my family, I grew up, my mama had five kids, all boys. I'm the youngest one. So it was all, it was kind of like we always, when I grew up, it was always a big, big old apartment or big house. So all my, by me being the youngest one, I got to see everything from like the inside and out, like with every situation, like by me being around everybody as me growing up, the youngest baby in the house, like I always paid attention to everything. So my mama always told me like, you going to be, you love money, you going to be a hustler. Cause like when she used to have company, I used to be getting them cups of ice, you know, like doing all type of stuff. So by the time when I got to like 13 years old, it was over with. Like, I don't be like, I ain't dropped out. Of, I dropped out of ninth grade. I went to ninth grade for like one month. Only reason I graduated eighth grade because I went to the juvenile center and they just end up gradually putting me on to the next grade. You feel me? Because I had got end up getting locked up. But after that, I dropped out. When I dropped out of school, it was just... I went to I went to baby DOC when I was like 14, got out, went back when I was 16, got out, cuck, turned 17, then I caught my first my first county case, a pistol case. Then it's just like it's just like it's just been rough. Every it's just been rough. I've been on my own. I've been taking care of myself since I was 15 years old. So like I just seen I just seen everything. I just seen it all. Like it, man, it's just like how much prison time you done? My whole life, I'm 23 now. When I was, I did probably when I I've been I've been a juvenile. I've been locked up 41 times, but all misdemeanors like for not going to school, shit like that. Like, like the police putting up on me. It's 7:30 in the morning, 8 o'clock. I supposed to be at school. They gonna take me in. I always got weed on me, but then when I turned 17, I went to the joint. I did. I took three at 50 for a gun case. I took three at 50. I had a gun case and a drug case. I took a year for one case and I took two for the other. Then I got out in 2019, went back to the county, ended up having to take some more time. Two months later, I ended up taking another three at 50. Came home when I was, I came home in 21, because I came home in 19 and I got locked up again in 19, so I came home in 21. So this is really the longest like I like I ever been out, but like far as like the street life, like I done seen it all. Like I've been taking care of myself since I was 15 years old. When I got a baby on the way, first baby, little girl, she'll be here August 25th. You feel me? Then I lost my brother like six months ago, seven months ago. It's crazy because God just blessed me with a baby because of my brother. My brother, my brother got killed August 23rd. How'd your brother die? He got killed in a. It was a, he got killed in a. a car, it was a. It was a shooter. But the car was on the E-way. They was coming from a club. And my homie ended up getting hit. But my homie, the one that got hit, he was the driver. So by him getting hit right on the spot, the car ended up crashing. So my brother died from trauma. So it's just like, it's just like I feel like God just blessed me. You feel me? But he ain't blessed me with a boy, but he blessed me with a little girl. So it's like, it's really like a blessing because it's like August 23rd from August 25th. Like, what's the difference? You feel me? So I look at it as like a blessing, but I still just, it's just like, it ain't the same no more. Like, since my brother been gone, it's just like, no bullshit. Like, I don't take bullshit. Like, people, like, 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 and then I don't take bullshit, period. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, like, it's to the point where, like, I'm gonna do what I do, play games, laugh, crack jokes, and do this, but, like, in my eyes, I ain't no bullshit. Like, and people that be around me I already know that. Like, yeah, he, shorty crazy. Like, it ain't even like, no, like, that's just me. Like, now, because it's like my brother gone, I don't got nobody. This my oldest brother. This my mama's oldest son. So by me being the last, it's like I got to take care of a lot of, because my mama, like, what? Like, she lost her first, and all she say, she don't want to lose her last. So it really just be like, I just got to keep going, you know? Got to keep going. I had my name since I was 13 years old. Juice, man. They been calling me Juice since I was 13. I got my name from an old black bomb. From my hood, you feel me? Just used to like the way I used to carry myself when I was a shorty. I used to always talk. You know, I used to be little. I mess, I messed my mouth up when I was like in, in elementary school. So I always used my mouth was like I had messed my mouth up at the gym. I had chipped both of my teeth. 
So I had ended up getting my mouth fixed, but he always used to play with me, you feel me? Like I used to always, he, used to always, he was an old cat, I used to always try to fight him, you feel me? Like I used to be a little, little fat, little bully. Like for the kids, they used to come in, because where I'm from, it's a gas station. So I, this gas station, I've been coming in my whole life. I was born and raised through this whole neighborhood. Jackson, I like all through that. So like anybody going to tell you, Juice, man, they like they know me. Like this ain't just, that's just my name. Like I carry myself proper. I've been taking care of myself, cars, like everything. Like How do you make money? Man, I make, I sell marijuana. Like, and I like, I sh like I'm trying to get a job now since I just got an ID. I mean, like, I ain't, had, I ain't had no ID since really since I was 19. I'm 23. The, the gangs are thick in this neighborhood. Man, like, it's, it's, it's a lot of gangs, like, and it's getting worse. Because everybody that's coming up, this is what they choose. It's the lifestyle they really choose, and they choose to be like what everybody else doing. It's so many look like so many young little kids that's younger than us, man. In every neighborhood, it's, man, it's going to be rougher. It ain't gonna never change. It ain't gonna change because you got all these little kids that's claiming the same gangs as us. Whatever, whatever gangs that, that's claiming in their neighborhood, whatever, they, if they, if they, they gonna get involved. Cause ain't nobody got no say so. No mamas, no parents. These kids doing what they wanna do. So it's like, it, it's like, man, the neighborhood just getting worse and worse. You gotta carry yourself the way you carry yourself. What, what do you think the problem is? <laughs> in, uh, the West Side is, is probably the. Just as dangerous as the South Side? No, yeah, like, man, we ain't, like, different now. Like, like it's, it's the same on both sides now. It's, 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 it's just, it's worse. I'm telling you, it's getting worse because, like, you man. You think the West Side's worse than the South Side? Man, look, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because the South Side is notorious for. Man, I'm telling you, like, I'm, look, South Side ain't nobody really out like that. We out every day. There's a lot more activity on the on the west side. Yes, we out like this. This this something we've been doing for years and years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Like since I was going outside with my daddy and you feel me stuff I've been seeing my whole life. So like, I like man, I, I know what to do. So I, what, what 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 I, I mean? What, what do you think the problem is? Were there no opportunities for you as a, as a kid? Man, we don't learn nothing. What, what role models did you have? We ain't, we ain't, we ain't like in our eyes. We our own role model. So whatever we choose to do, we do it for real. Were, like, were your brothers in gangs? Like all my brothers, them in gangs. Everybody, everybody. I like my whole family. I've been around bullshit my whole life. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like from lights going off to like everything. Like I didn't like I didn't like any probably you probably they probably only you probably only but, but I swear to God like I truthfully didn't didn't heard it all or seen it all. Tell me about your family growing up. You guys were poor? Like, nah, we weren't that at all. That's what I'm saying. My people then was getting money. Yeah. You feel me? But it was just like as I got older, start slowing down. So like when I was say about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it was good. Life was good. Life was great. You feel me? Man, I was getting older. Stuff started slowing down. About 12, I'm getting to get off doing what I want to do, smoking. 13, it was on. Dr drugs are a part of your life? Yeah. Ecstasy. Yeah. X, X and weed. I don't really do nothing else ever. Like, probably perks here and there, but I'm an ecstasy popper. Like, that's all I like to pop. Like, that's how I end up, when I got my mouth fixed, I end up messing my mouth back up because the top bomb was rotting and out. And because I love to pop pills, I pop three, four pills a day. I used to I used to be like 190. I'm only like 130. Feel so it's like just a lifestyle I lose. I live like I don't. I can't go two three days without getting high. Like it's like a real like it's real bad with me with with ecstasy pills. You're addicted. Yeah, it's like I be throwing up and gotta get high to stop throwing up type shit. Hmm. So your dad was in your life? Yeah, my daddy's still in my life. Yeah, my mommy and my daddy is. It just I've been taking care of myself for so long. They let me do what I want to do. It's like they tried and tried, but it's like I want to. This is this what I wanted to do. Like I ain't just start doing it at 16 years old. When I tell you, like 13 type. Caught my first case when I was 13. My first weed case on the Vern tomorrow. Like, like, it's like that's just me. Like I, I, I'm a hustler. Do you think there's another chance? A chance that you'll be back in prison again? 
Man, I, I, I've been dodging it. I swear, oh man, I've been dodging it. I've been doing good. Like, and that man up that good. Like, and I and I done got through so much, so many struggles, like, within this, since I've been out. Like, this the longest I've ever been out. Like, I really feel like, like, I, it's time for a change. You feel me? Like, that's what I told my girl. Like, man, since I got my ID now, I start filling out for job applications. You feel me? Because it's like, I got a kid on the way, you feel me? And it's like, what what, what I'm going to do when she get here, you feel me? It's, it's, it's rough. Like, that's how me and my girl talk about, like, we got to keep going. I ain't even got the baby with my girl. I got a baby by a whole nother woman. She just, my girl been messing with me for so long. I met her in 2019. I ain't never met no girl like her. I swear to God. I done had five girlfriends and she still here. Like, literally, like, I don't, like... She always like, we got a real understanding. Like, it ain't, it's a real understanding what, like, I can really deal with that. Like, I thought I could deal with other situations, but it's just like, no. She the only thing that's, and she gonna keep it real. You feel me? Like, I ain't got time for that. You feel me? Like, what, what do you worry about? What are you afraid of? Afraid of dying. I ain't afraid of dying. I'm afraid of getting hurt because of the people, the type of love I got out here for the people that I be around. Like, and it'd be a, it'd be a sad thing. You feel me? Because like I, I'm I'm helpful, but yeah, I got my own ways when I can just say fuck. Like you feel me? Just exit everybody. Like, but it's like I'm I'm a helpful person, man. I promise you, I am. Like I helps. Like like so I'd be afraid to just I'd be afraid to lose my mama. You feel me? My daddy. You feel me? Me, like, this them the type of things I'm afraid. of. I'm afraid of like just life. Just really like what's like what like what's next. I'm, so many niggas I know that's gone. You lost a lot of friends? Yeah, I, my brother. Forget, like, you feel me? Like, at the end of the day, they're my friends, but I lost my brother. Like, this time I never pictured nothing. Like, I used to, like, I used to, like, okay, all my mama kids still here. Still five of us. You feel me? It's just like when I was in jail and I just picked that phone up when it was time to use my phone, the, my call, it was something different. Like, it was something like, whoa. And it was like two days after his birthday type shit. So it was like, it really hit me. Like, and I only been in jail for like two, three weeks when it happened to my brother. So it's just, like, that really made me look at a lot of shit different. I lost real homies. Like, my homie that I got right here, Toronto. Like, I lost real homies. Like, I've been had this tattoo since I was four. I mean, this tattoo, these three tattoos, I was like 13. Feel me? So it's like, I, I lost real homies, but I ain't, I ain't never felt that type of pain with my brother. To the point where I couldn't, like, it'll never be the same. Everybody telling me I do, like, my, my attitude just worse. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I've been looking at my stuff, like, I do need to slow down if I get hurt type. But it's like, in my eyes, can't nobody hurt me. Like, who gonna do something to me? What, what, what emotions do you go through? Do you get depressed or anxious or angry? Uh, I, be, I just be angry. Like, I just be mad because I don't understand a lot of stuff that happens. Like, I don't understand, like... How, like, it be like, it's just like being in the lifestyle that we live. I just be looking at it like, whoa, like, man, I done went through so much. Like, I just be angry. I be real angry. Like, mm, like, I, like, I, like, it's be to the point where I wake up mad type. Like, you feel me? Like, I, don't, like, I be looking like, what's going on? But it's like, my mind so just caught up in this street shit. Like, it just like, and I ain't even no... Like, no game banger type. And you feel me? Like, I ain't, you feel me? But I'm just got a name, you feel me? Like, and it speak for itself. So, like, it's a rough lifestyle. Like, I don't Being in the hallway, sleeping, going through this, that. You ain't got nowhere to go, you feel me? It be weird stuff going on out here. So, like, I really just be real angry. And I be trying to figure out, like, why? Like, it be like, it be just, mm. First thing I be thinking about, hurting something. You feel me? Well, don't nobody say nothing to me type. You feel me? They know where I'm coming. I be around them every day while you, while you just pick me up from. I ain't got nothing to lie about. They know how I'm coming. Like, ain't nobody going to get in my way. I promise you. Like, and I do what I do for myself. Nobody. I do, I'm, a, I'm my own man. You're part of a gang? No, like, it's just, I'm me. I'm my own man. I'll be, I grew up around vice lords. All vice lords. So you've been around that thing your whole life. 
my whole life. What's your biggest regret? And my biggest regret is just like picking up a gun charge. That's my biggest regret because like now I'm like I be talking to my woman about a lot of stuff. Like the felony, the gun charge, like it stopped me from getting doing a lot of stuff. Like I can get stuff expunged, but it's just like by like me being who I am, type of street nigga I am, like, I don't be want to have time to go do that type of stuff. You feel me? Like, that's the type of stuff I be like, man, like, I wish I, like, I regret felonies. And having a, a class X and shit like that. You so feel that makes it hard to get a job or something like that? Yeah, it's hard to do a lot of shit with felonies and class Xs. Like, I, I went to jail for five, my second time going to the joint was for fentanyl. You feel so, me? Yeah. yeah, you feel me? So it was like it was one no like ain't no way I could have got up out of it. I never got a a blessing since I was in the county. They never gave me a low bond. Any bond I ever had was two hundred and fifty D, twenty five thousand. I never had no low bond to get out of jail. So every time I went in there, I sat. Cause I either was fighting another case on top of another case. So it's just like, man, I just been, I've been in like I've been selling drills for so long, man. Like so long, like and I just saw some of the worst of shit. Dude, there's a market for it all, right? I just saw some of the worst of shit. Like my when I was fourth, when I was like thirteen, man, people in my neighborhood was getting money. Like I, I, I was a room to it. It wasn't nothing like it couldn't. It came all in my flush. Like I got my own car. I do whatever I want to do. Like I, I came up from like fourteen to to. Buying cars, 14th when I got out of jail, before I went to the joint, before I got 17, I was on, I had a juvenile case that I was on the run for for two years. I was getting, I, man, I was, man, I'm telling you, man, I had to, man. Then they finally ended up catching up with me. I ended up doing a little time, coming home, buying, like, just living. Like, been like, I ain't gonna say, like, money just been around, but, like, I ain't been no broken. Like, it's just, like, it ain't, it ain't, it's just, like, it's tight now. It ain't the same as it was in, when I was 14 and 15. Mm -hmm. It's quicker and easy, like, so quick to make two, three thousand. I swear to God, a thousand dollars. I'm finna go in the house with 800. Now you, you gotta work your ass out to go in the house with five, six hundred. You feel me? But that's cool as long as you're doing it for yourself. Now if you're working for somebody, you ain't gonna never get nowhere. What would you say is the most important lesson you've learned? Uh, the, most, the most important lesson was To really, that like, you can't look at nobody as your friend, for real. That's really the most important lesson, like, with the, everything that's going on, like, you don't got no homies, like, because, like, like, my lesson is just, like, not trusting niggas who I've been around my whole life type, like, that's my, like, and that's what I've been going through through these years, by niggas that I'm trusting. I ain't never did none too because I'm so 100. They end up, you feel me? Now it's like, I'm looking at it like... Just can't trust nobody. You feel me? Like I just know that. Like all that back in. Oh, this is my homie. This is my brother. We've been this. That only people I trust is my brother. That's like you feel me. It's like like that's crazy because like he always told me like when we lost our brother, he just always me and you could be doing this. Me and you could be doing this. And look what we doing now. Look what we doing up there. Like me and him and the rest of the guys. Our own, we do whatever we want to do. You feel me? We gotta listen to nobody. Ain't nobody telling us to go do this and do that and do that. No, it's not that. No, 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 no. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not trying to hit none of that. So I'm really just like just having my way right now. I do what I want to do. It's fair and square with me right now. I just don't trust nobody. Like that's the biggest lesson that everybody should be trying to learn in 2022. Because look. Everybody just dead. Like, like everybody just gone. It ain't never the same no more. Everybody gone. All the real people, all the real niggas is over with. It's, a, all, it's really everybody that's out here just like, that's coming up in our generation with the 20s. And you feel me? Like, okay, that's cool. But niggas that's still out here, that's 30, like, it's over with. Um, it's over with. Like, I don't even hang with older niggas no more because, like, them the niggas that's really playing a part. So it's really like I just 
I just look at a lot of shit different. I move on my own. I I don't be with nobody unless I'm at the gas station. So like I know what not to do and what to do. Like I'm really street smart. Like I ain't just telling you like I know how to move. My biggest lesson is like that I learned you can't trust nobody. You shouldn't trust nobody. So like All right. Twan, thank you so much for sharing your story. I wish you the best of luck with your new baby. All right, thank you. And everything else, man. Thank you.